I'm sorry we're inside, but nobody wants to get wet outside. It's my pleasure and a privilege to welcome you here today. My name is Ross Lorimer. I was employed, gainfully, by the Royal Infirmary for 42 years, and most of that time was spent in the medical wards that are above us. There has been here a hospital for more than 200 years, set up initially to tend to the poor and sick of Deniston and Easter and Townhead, and then extended to Glasgow and now far beyond. We are part of the community of the East End of Glasgow. We always have been and we always will be. Those who have worked here, there are many of us have one aim, and that is to maintain the service of health to the people here. Many famous people have worked at the Royal Infirmary and famous because of the contributions they made to nursing, to medicine and to surgery. Their names are well known and the coming of this museum allows us to learn more of them and what their contribution has been. Having this new museum is a great asset to the Royal Infirmary to allow us to remember the past. Friends of the Glasgow Royal Infirmary have a great deal to thank the committee who have organised all this. And while people object to the, the using names, I would have to say that Hilary Wilson, Kate and Bob Stevens, Bonvin McElroy, Rosa McMillan, John Stewart have made an enormous contribution and without their dedication and vision, this would not have happened. Many people have contributed to the success of this development and to allow us to be here today. The Friends of Glasgow Royal Infirmary have been very generous and Gordon Lowe is here and to him I say thanks very much to the very generous contribution from the Scottish Society of the History of Medicine. There are many other people here and it's a special pleasure to me to see Sir Kenneth Calvin he and I have known each other for many years and of course he has recently been the Chancellor of Glasgow University. And we have others, there is Margaret Smith who was matron of the Royal Infirmary and staffed us here when I was in my prime and she was very young. And she has grown very, very well and looks just the same as she did then. As, did, as does Rosemary Brennan who was in coronary care many years ago. And I see also John Hamilton, who orthopaedic surgeon at the Royal Infirmary, and his wife. And John followed the traditions, which I didn't actually, but he married uh, one of his nursing staff. None of my nursing staff would have me, so I had, to go, <laughs> I had to go outside. We stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before. And therefore, it gives me very great pleasure to say that we have here Mr. David Geyer, who is the great-grandson of Rebecca Strong. And Rebecca Strong, along with Sir William McEwen, was responsible for the development of systematic training of nurses that is now used as a model worldwide. And it's not only that we have him here as a great-grandson, we also have Rebecca Strong's great-great-great-granddaughter and Rebecca Strong's Great, 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 great granddaughter. So, <laughs> so it is extremely nice to welcome the family and how the tradition the traditions go on. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for coming. This is an auspicious day and you're all very welcome. And this, Hilary assures me, will be the first of many invest of many demonstrations. And I the Chairman of the Health Board, Professor John Brown, is here and he is going to say a few words. Uh, thank you and uh, welcome everyone. 
uh, from uh, me on behalf of the health board. It's nice to see uh, so many faces that I recognise, uh, particularly from former members of staff who have uh, kept the faith and kept coming to the Royal and supporting the Royal. Uh, it's since it opened 220 years ago, GRI has always been at the forefront of innovation in healthcare. Uh, famous names such as Lister, McEwen, McIntyre, and of course Rebecca Strong uh, are among the hundreds of pioneers in medical research that have worked here. And I think it's very important that we continue to celebrate their contribution to the health and the well-being of people across the world not just in Glasgow and not just in the East End of Glasgow. And we want to preserve uh, their memory, that legacy, with this museum. And in keeping uh, with the GRI's role as a trendsetter in the NHS, I think it's very fitting that this is the first museum of its kind on a live hospital site in the UK. And it's thanks to the friends of the GRI uh, that this initiative has been delivered. And I think the trustees all deserve our thanks for making this happen. I'd also like to thank uh, my colleagues uh, on the board of the trustees of the NHS Endowment Fund for their contribution to the establishment of the museum. And of course, it wouldn't have been possible without the support of many individual contributors uh, to the fundraising. We have to thank all the people from the estates team and the tradesmen and tradeswomen who have refurbished this corner of the GRI. This hospital has a special place in the hearts of Glaswegians and the museum will ensure... <laughs> <laughs> proves we're still definitely in a hospital site, that's for sure. Uh, uh, th this hospital has a special place in the hearts of Glaswegians and the museum will ensure uh, the f that future generations uh, will be able to appreciate the rich history that underpins the affection that we all feel for this hospital. So thank you, and I'll now hand back to the Chair. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Professor Brown. Now you can rest assured, just ask us as a side go there, is anybody here on call? <laughs> because they should call what's that. Uh, I would volunteer, but I'm not the register anymore. It, that's because of age, not because of a subdemeanor. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been struck off. Could I now say, Zagar, would you like to come and cut this ribbon? Before he says a few words, let me just say the way he opened, opened that and cut the ribbon, he should have been a sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> well, th this is uh, a great honor that I wasn't expecting at all until about half an hour ago. <laughs> uh, and it's, it, it's also uh, a great pleasure due to the family connection. I'm sure if I said to any one of you, oh, I knew a lady quite well. Uh, she was born in 1843. I think your initial reaction would be, don't be ridiculous. But I knew, not only did I know Rebecca Strong, or in fact what, what we have always known as Granny Strong, because she was my father's granny, so she was never called anything in the, in the, uh, in the family except Granny Strong. And, uh, where was I? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Uh, I haven't any notes. Uh, you knew her very well, Grandpa. Pardon? You knew her very well. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, what was she like? Uh, was she a bit scary? Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, you're actually looking at somebody who did know Rebecca Strong really quite well. And not only just, I was 15 years old when she died. And we didn't see much of her in the latter years because the war was in and we couldn't travel. But uh, I knew her, I met her on a number of occasions and she was a very formidable woman. <laughs> I can assure you, even to the family, I think. I think when my mother and father had to entertain her for a few days, 
they've probably got their wits about them to see what they can do. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you very much. Isn't it remarkable to be in the presence of somebody that remembers Rebecca song in the flesh? Time really has of no, no importance when you have memories like that. Thank you so much for that. that you brought it all back. For that. I'm glad I didn't work in the hospital when she was here. <laughs> you could also just say, I mentioned, I was going to mention Andrew Robertson, who I didn't see because I was looking for him. He's behind him, behind the door. Andrew was chairman of the board of management here, instrumental in a lot of innovations in the Royal, and went on to be chairman of Greater Glasgow Health Board, and you're very welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Hillary hasn't told me otherwise. I think that's the formal business over. Feel free to circulate. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>